Hallelujah, family. God bless you. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Always a privilege to bring you prophetic messages. God bless all, all the first timers. Thank you so much for stopping by. May the Lord use this channel to minister to you prophetically, tell you the mind of God, and help you know God better even for yourself. In the name of Jesus, please become a part of our community by subscribing to this channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell. God bless you as you do that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God says this is about to happen to your enemy. Expect a reversal and a transfer. Expect a reversal and a transfer. It is about to happen to your enemy. When the Lord gave me this prophetic word, what came to my mind was the story of Haman and Mordecai. You know, Haman had prepared a gallow for Mordecai. He had prepared a gallow on which Mordecai will be hung. And after i don't want to get into the long of the of the story you know what happened um Mordecai um, um, had saved the king's life and was not recorded and this one time the king decided to honor Mordecai and asked him and what should be done for the man the king desires to honor and Mordecai felt like oh um um, Haman felt like this was his opportunity, like the king wanted to honor him. He did not know it was for for Mordecai. And so he said all the beautiful things that he wanted to be done for the man the king desires to honor, just to see that man being Mordecai. And after, you know, um, his, his ploy to 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 terminate the Jew and Esther prayed and God gave her favor before the king and she told the king about it now the ga the gallow that was prepared the gallow Haman prepared for Mordecai to be hung on it was the same gallow that he was hung on Esther chapter 7 and verse Nine says that then Habona, one of the eunuchs, seven the king said, Now look, there are gallows fifty cubits high standing at Haman's house, which Haman made for Mordecai, whose good warning saved the king. And the king said, Hang him on it. So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then the king's anger subsided. He had prepared that gallow for Mordecai, but God did not want it to be so. God says that what your enemies are planning against you, there's going to be a reversal road. There's going to be a transfer. They will not see that anymore. They will not see it anymore. It's going to instead happen to them. What they planned for you is going to be their destiny in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah we have god watching over us god will not let imagine mordecai um, Haman wanted the king to hang mordecai the same person that saved the life of the king god will not let our good works to go unrewarded or he will not let our good works to end up in shame he will not let our good works to end up in a point where we are not even recognized. And those who are trying to ploy against us, God will turn it on them in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you, keep your causes face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Until I come your way again, I remain your prophetic intercessor. Have an amazing day. Shalom.